there you see the Boston Celtics. In addition to the glory of the championship, there's a lot of money at stake in this final series. Wiley, number 12, and Russell shaking hands as they get set. Norm Drucker throwing it up for the initial tap on this game. And then listen to the crowd from that point on. Taken by West to the Lakers. That's Selby in the corner. Being guarded by Jones. Rudy LaRusso getting it out to Selby for a long shot. West gets the rebound taken by Baylor now. Rudy LaRusso from the left. Holding as Jerry West goes to the line. West again. That's West's first basket of the evening. He's been averaging 29 points per game in the playoffs, so he's one of the top shooters. He and Baylor, of course, are the two big men for the Lakers. Einstein with the spin around and the hook, which was partially blocked. The Lakers take over. It's a 5-5 game. West again blocked by Russell. Lakers maintain possession as West goes in. Baylor likes to isolate if he can on a one-on-one -on -one situation so he can drive. Sanders switched over this time to West, and West goes in and makes it. Russell has come out, and he screams for Cousy. Baylor again gets the rebound, a second in a row. Fast break. There goes West. He's got it. Selby in a set. West still with it. LaRusso. Foster weapon, the fast break is from Helda Skelter basketball. That's Cousy. He's keeping the Celtics in with 10 points so far. It's Lakers 19, the Celtics 18, 450 to go in this first quarter. The Lakers used a Boston trick, that fast break, and an interception to get that big buck. Elton Taylor going into the left side, banks it beautifully, and it's now Lakers 21, the Celtics 18. The pace is very fast and furious here in this first quarter. Four minutes and 30 seconds to go in the period. Sam Jones, short. Taken by Wiley, gives it to West. Lakers are breaking quickly. And West jumps, hits. He stopped the stop of that jumper. Tommy Heinsohn for Boston. Casey Jones is getting set to go. And West at the free throw line. And the score of Lakers 24 and the Celtics 20. getting credit as LaRusso went up and pinned that ball at the side of the basket for the uh, score now. Lakers 27, Celtics 25. West with a two fakes and then the shot. Sanders on Baylor. Baylor went behind LaRusso for the screen, but Sanders is still with him. Here's Barnett cutting around Baylor. Starting a drive as Sanders switched men and now Cousy is on Baylor as you see. Sanders has lost his man for a moment. Now he picks him up, but too late. As the shot is made by Baylor. Two shots. To alternate fresh men if they can on Baylor. 36 now. Lakers are hustling back on defense. Jones shooting. And out it goes, and it hits Earl Strom. Stays in play as Delvey comes down. Almost made it. Very alert play. Good defense. Casey Jones back to Havlicek. This is a three-on-one break. Russell's the middleman. Baylor feeds off to Barnett. For the Boston Celtics has but one point so far tonight. No field goals, just one foul. Beautiful pass into West. 
Moving off to the corner, now back in. He's been guarded by Baylor. Havlicek shooting. LaRusso takes it. Barnett broke fast as West brings the ball up. LaRusso from the corner. Goes to the line. The Celtics have just three a team. Sanders has slipped out of his grasp. Baylor being guarded by Cousy as he goes in and makes it. 66-50. The Celtics lead by 16. West puts it up and it goes in. And he's guarding Bob Cousy. He switched men now. He's on Russell as the shot is taken by Sam Jones, who is in for the second half. took the timeout on Donnelly to talk over this new Laker alignment as Baylor has now become a backcourt man and a guard and they're putting the big men under the basket to see what they can do to take the ball away from Russell and give Baylor a chance to hit from that side. That was Baylor who has 11 points now. 68-58 as the Lakers completely realign. Wiley was guarding Russell but to no avail as Big Bill Russell now has six points. The score is 70 to 58. The Celtics lead with 10 minutes to go in the third quarter. West and Baylor are now the backcourt men. Wiley is a high post, and now Baylor goes in the pivot and goes in the corner. Baylor gets it back and shoots from there. And, has it. and now Baylor is 13 points, and you can see how the Lakers have changed their style of attack to see what they can do to realign their offense. Heinsohn, that's Wiley. He and Ellis are both in there to see what they can do on the boards, and Baylor's staying out. West from the corner. Three big baskets in a row, and the Lakers now put on the Celtics lead. It's now Celtics 70, the Lakers 62. Russell makes it. The right-handed hook shot. 72-62, the Celtics lead by 10, with nine minutes and four seconds to go in the third quarter. And Baylor. Celtics 74, Lakers 67. Baylor is guarding Cousy up front here, and West is guarding Sam Jones. Wiley is, is guarding Russell, and Ellis is on Sanders. LaRusso on Heinsohn. As Heinsohn, ball is knocked away. Cousy intercepts Wiley's pass. Cousy, whoa, what a shot. Left-handed hook by Cousy. This is West. And it's seven. As they use a play off the foul line with LaRusso shooting. Bob Cousy is guarding West. Baylor shooting. is a tough assignment guarding West and also carrying an offensive pace in this championship. Boston leads 3-2. We'll see what develops. The Lakers certainly have a tough road ahead. Krebs, Ellis, both in there. Barnett has gone in. He gets the shot off. Bob Cousy, who's played a sensational game, has characterized his entire career. Jerry West. And LaRusso and Wiley are getting set to come in again for the Lakers. West goes down the middle and gets it. 96 to 89, the Celtics lead. Tommy Heinsohn, Baylor got the ball away, but it rolled to Sanders' hand. Taken by West, a long pass up to Baylor. Baylor goes in, has it. It's 
96 to 91. Celtics lead by five with eight minutes and 24 seconds to go. Baylor guarding Tony Heisen. The cuts behind Russell. Out to Havlicek for the jumper. Baylor has it. Lakers break fast. Ellis is the trailer. Now he cuts to the other side. Russell guarding Baylor. Baylor made it. 98 to 93. Jones guarding West, and he gets picked off by Baylor as they change men. And now Jones is on Baylor, who shoots. Hit. There's still a possibility that Bob Cousy may be able to come back. The trainer. That's Baylor shooting. Russell with the ball. Three seconds on the 24-second clock. Cousy shoots at the buzzer. A minute and 12 seconds to go as Baylor goes up and makes it. 112 to 107. And Baylor puts it in there with a second to go. Cousy throws it high in the air, and the Boston's 